Hey humans, what's up? I'm Brianne Williamson. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn post notifications on. Today, I'm gonna to be reacting to some super cringy lesbian YouTuber fan fiction. But before we dive into that, I wanna say thank you to Yarn App. Yarn App has sponsored this video and I am so grateful. It's also a super cool app to check out in this time when we're all stuck in our homes going crazy with boredom. Anyone else? So I'm gonna expose myself a little bit. I love reading other people's conversations. Like when you have friends that are on dating apps and they're like connecting with people for the first time, I'm so curious about how that banter goes. And Yarn App is kind of like that. Yarn App is a series of stories presented through text message combos. So whether it's a fictional tale of some of your favorite celebs or a frantic group text message between friends where some serious stuff just went down, you get to follow along in a super binge-worthy way by following the conversation through the messages. It's super addicting, super fun, and like I said, a great way to entertain yourself if you're bored at home like I am. So humans, do me a favor, open the camera on your phone. Now point it at this flow code, and there's gonna be a banner that pops up where you can download the Yarn app. Go ahead and download that and enjoy. I really, really appreciate when you support my sponsors because they support me and LGBTQ plus content. So thank you so much again to Yarn app for sponsoring this video. So in celebration of this super cool app, we are gonna be reading some lesbian YouTuber fan fiction. This is definitely the kind of thing that you'll be reading on Yarn app, but in super snackable text message form. Let's get into it. I have a really big fascination with fan fiction. I just think it's so cool that so many fans out there take the time to create these stories for their favorite characters or favorite people. I get it because there's so many times where I've been watching shows and I'm like, no, no, that is not the way I wanted it to end or I wanted this scene to happen or I wanted them to date this person. And it's a really creative way for all these fans to kind of make that happen in this fantasy world. But with that said, as much as I have an appreciation for the premise of it, I've never actually read any fan fiction. So I went to one of these major fan fiction websites and I just searched lesbian YouTuber. Um, and boy, does some interesting stuff emerge. The first title I noticed, I feel like is very true to me and my life. Um, when it comes to my coming out, if all of you watching are new here, you might not know that I originally started on Tumblr and that's kind of where I first started um, posting um, about being gay and first really came out to the world in a weird kind of secretive way. And <laughs> the title of this fan fiction is Tumblr fangirl turned YouTuber girlfriend? <laughs> If that ain't me, then what is? Okay, let's, let's read the synopsis. It says, Megan had never thought she'd properly meet her favorite YouTubers. Sure, she'd bumped into a couple on the streets of London or attended their events to see them perform, <laughs> but she preferred her Tumblr world of GIFs and fan fictions, AKA Megan's cooler on the internet, okay, aren't we all? Where she ruled, see, Tumblr famous, if you will. Unexpectedly, she makes friends with the girlfriend of one of her favorite YouTubers, and soon her Tumblr imagination turns into reality. This is another one that popped up as I was scrolling. <laughs> I've never heard a warning for this in my life. Hello everyone, welcome to my book called YouTuber Romance. Warning, this book contains lesbians and gays. <laughs> but don't worry, they're not actually dating one another. What? Just warning you, the lesbian and gay people are present, but don't worry, not dating. So I'm seeing quite a mix of YouTuber names as I'm scrolling. A lot of YouTubers that I recognize or I am friends with, so I'm trying to avoid the ones <laughs> that I'm friends with because I think it would be really weird to like read their names out. But then there's the flip side of things where I feel like there's a lot of these stories that don't use 
the names of these YouTubers, but you still know who they are. Like, the description of them is still that. For example, Stacy Conrad, famous lesbian YouTuber, alongside her girlfriend, Becca Mitchell. Stacy has a sex education channel. Stacy has a sex education channel. That's Stevie. You didn't even try and pick a name that's that far off. Let's just say she knows a lot of things and has had various experiences. And then it goes on to say that she started making videos with her girlfriend, Becca. And I mean, I was gonna say you can't make this shit up, but I guess this person did. It says, Becca, on the other hand, <laughs> owns a channel where she will put up mixes and original songs. Tell me in the comments who you think that is. Any guesses who might be dating Stacy, who puts up original songs on their YouTube channel? Just take a wild guess. What was your first impression of me? Becca asked. <laughs> Stacy says, licking her lips. Damn, those boobs. All right, I know I said I wasn't gonna read ones with actual names, <laughs> but this one's too good to pass up. It's called Rose and Rosie One Shots, which I see one shots referenced a lot in this fan fiction space, and I don't know what that means. Comment down below if you know what that means. Warning, this one shot will cause you a lifetime of cringiness. <laughs> Bless you, baby. So in this cringy table of contents, we have a few titles such as Surprise, First Meeting, Breaking Up, Jealousy, Long Time No See, and simply Twitter. I'm gonna go with Jealousy. That sounds like the most juicy. <laughs> okay. So this story starts with Rose playing a video game with Allie. And it describes that from Ali's point of view and it's like super flirty. So then it moves to Rose's point of view, which says, it's past seven in the evening. We are back from our hotel room. Rosie has been giving me weird looks <laughs> since Ali and I played together. So this is where the jealousy begins, I see. She's totally jealous. I laughed at the mere thought. Rosie, can you come out here? I need to talk to you. Okay, so then they do the whole like coy back and forth of is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Okay, maybe something's wrong. And Rosie finally spills the beans of what is wrong. I was jealous, okay? Because I know that Ali had a crush on you before and when I saw you two together laughing, it just, but don't worry, Rose cuts her off mid-sentence by kissing her deeply. And then after that, it seems to be going pretty well. I'm actually not gonna read how this continues. Um, wow. Some of this fan fiction really goes in, if you know what I mean. This one's called YouTube Enemies, a lesbian story. Here's the synopsis. The most famous YouTubers across the world are Elma's Elmo's and Cheryl's World. Don't know if those are real people or not. That's all everybody talks about. The two most beautiful and famous women of all time. They've taken it off YouTube at this point. They are now the most famous women of all time. They've seen the Draw My Life videos and the challenges and collabs with other YouTubers. Most of the comments on their videos consist of them collabing with each other. There's just one problem though. They both hate each other with a burning passion. As the fans keep begging them to collab, they can't keep making any more excuses. <laughs> so you have to keep reading to see if they're still enemies or if that collab brought them back together. The two most famous women of all time. <laughs> The tea is hot, I tell ya. Just guess in the comments who this one's about. After Blank and Blank's breakup, and Blank and Blank's breakup, the four aren't all friends anymore. Well, two of them might be more than friends. <laughs> in all seriousness, I am actually super impressed by some of the writing quality on here. Like, there's some stories that I haven't even read out loud because I was reading them, and they're really well written. Like, you can just tell that some people put a lot of time into these fan fiction stories, and it's a really cool concept. I also think that 
it's really cool that so many human beings are writing this fan fiction with little to no benefit to them besides being creative and enjoying it. Like from what I can see, very few people are making money off of this. Um, it's obviously somewhat underground, so it's just really cool that people are just doing it simply because they love um, these characters or these people and they want more content about them. So I can see why this would be super addicting and I'm actually excited to read some more. I'm weirdly enjoying this. Um, but yeah, before you go, make sure to download that Yarn app. Thank you again to Yarn app for sponsoring this video and supporting queer content. And once again, when you humans support the people that support me, it helps me. So I really appreciate it if you go and download the Yarn app and enjoy it. Um, binge those text message combos, guilt free. And don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you want to see next. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you humans next time.